Hey gang, Scott Taylor here, Big Block Realty. We're in Aurora Grande. We're looking at uh, some nice properties today. Today it's uh, 255 Rodeo, came on the market yesterday evening, I think. Today's the first day really on the market. Uh, 255 Rodeo is priced at $910,000, three bedroom, two and a half bath, 2,600 square feet. It's priced at $350 a square foot, which I was doing some research yesterday and the average per square foot sold in five cities, which is Rio Grande, Oceano, Grover Beach, and Pismo, uh, was 445. So at 350 a foot, this is below market average uh, per square foot. Uh, built 1989, two and a half car garage. This is an original owner situation. So the, uh, the, the folks selling it bought it originally from S&S Homes who were the builder. So it's been in the family for a long, long time. I've been in the house before, met with the owners uh, a few years back, and uh, it's a great little house. Fantastic views out the back, and I think you're gonna like it. Uh, obviously, with this neighborhood, uh, it's just fantastic. Uh, pride of ownership. These are great homes, uh, well-built. This one's got a tile roof on it. We'll look down the side yard. So it is fenced, and but it has an open gate, kind of iron, open iron gate on there. Okay, we're gonna mask up and come on inside. Oh, hey, before before we get going, I wanna say thank you to Ashley Boyer with Keller Williams Realty Central Coast for letting us get in here so quickly. I asked her this morning and uh, she got me in here now. So within two, three hours, we're in it. So thanks, Ashley, appreciate that. Yeah, so you've got a nice little I don't know if you'd call this an atrium area, sitting area. Uh, this little, it's an ornamental, I think it's an ornamental maple. I've got one in my yard. Um, hibiscus and some other mystery plants, ferns and whatnot. Doesn't seem to get a whole ton of sunlight, which the ferns will love. Uh, I don't believe there's been any updates to the house since it was originally built. So we have possibility of kind of doing a little time warp, going back in time. So as you come in, you've got this stepped area. There's a one step down on all sides. There's a dining area to our right, and then a similar area to the left, although it doesn't have the chandelier. So it's like a sitting room. No fireplace in that room. And then just a walk forward, you got this little pony wall here. And then the fireplace and the big family room. There's a dine-in area over there off of the kitchen. Let's go take a look at that. So before we get going here, I'm gonna look up. Nice big high ceilings. Again, this is this is all circa 89, but it's clean. And it doesn't look like it's in need of like repair so much. It's just a bit out of date. So the view, you've got this beautiful valley view, which of course that's all green space down below. Um, and then that's the ocean. So let me zoom in. So you can't see the waves breaking. It's not a white water view. I guess you could see if the waves got really big maybe, <laughs> but it is nice uh, back in here. You're a little ways away from the ocean, so you don't have the highway noise. You don't have the, uh, wind as much and where we're sitting here where we're, we're hanging out here is uh tucked away from the wind so the primary wind direction is going to come over this roof line and head that way northwest winds so in this spot you would be almost i mean you can't be fully protected from the wind but you're very very protected from the wind uh the stucco goes all the way up underneath the eaves which we like to see that cuts down on pests and whatnot um that's a nice landscaping back here low water usage i'm gonna get up to the edge here see down below into the green space and around to the other side of the patio now i think that attaches to one of the bedrooms on that side i think there's another slider that goes around another doorway off another bedroom there. We'll get a, an idea of the layout. Can you see the ocean from inside? Yes, you can. 
You can see that little strip right there. Here's the big blue. So your dine-in area here, off the kitchen. Plenty of storage. Um, it's a pass-through kitchen. I would say galley style, but pass-through for sure. Fluorescent light box up above. Country oak cabinets. A nice stainless fridge and dishwasher and ovens. Oh, oven, we got a microwave and then nice big oven. That looks almost brand new. This though is gonna amount to your pantry. So there's no separate room pantry. I anticipate this is bedroom one, but let's take, let's keep looking. I've got it set up as an office. It looks like, um, so here, that's what makes me think this is a bedroom is that this uh, is recessed enough to accommodate a closet and they just built in the office and shelving. There's the door out to the patio where we just were. A little wet bar butler area. So you're, if you're having formal dining, you're gonna prepare the food and it's gonna shuttle its way out here into our formal dining area. Go back here. We've got a bathroom, half bath here with a little bit of linen storage and then laundry room. Does have a nice folding area here. You can tell this is all kind of circa 1989 vinyl floor. Uh, this vinyl flooring continues all the way back. It's easy enough as I understand it to uh, Little closet there. So I think they can put tile right over the top of that vinyl. And then your garage. So we have a, what this called a two and a half car garage. So one, two and a half. It's a garage and a workshop area out here. Uh, I've got another. Whoop, yeah, see, that's why we check these doors. Been locked out in the. <laughs> Locked myself into plenty of garages before I finally learned my lesson. Water heater out here, that's good. Don't want anything leaking inside if it was to burst. And then, yeah, a little access out to that back patio. Nice tall ceilings out here, plenty of storage built in. Water softener over there. That's a nice setup for the garage. Turn off those lights. Okay. So really just the one bedroom on this side of the world and more set up as an office. Needs a paint job, but if you like these older style cabinets, it's in good enough condition that you really wouldn't need to do much. That might be a separate office. Let's see. So you've got access to a nice big closet. Not necessarily soaking tub, but a jetted tub. Separate shower and commode or toilet as a plumber customer of mine reminded me. So the master's wider, I guess deeper than it is this way. It's not a square. So you're probably 16 feet, 14 feet, that direction. And then a couple feet less on this side. Um, access out to your patio on the back. So that's your suite. Access to this bathroom. This is your hall guest bath. Small tub. Let's see, we always check. That's cold, so that's tile. Tiled all the way to the ceiling. Looks like same tile here on the sink. A little bit of linen storage. I like how they've out of the cabinets to the bathrooms. So bedrooms, so this is technically bedroom two. So that office over there, I was wrong. That was a, a true office. This is bedroom two. And then we have bedroom three. Wow. Look at that. Have you seen those posters where you cross your eyes a little bit and you like see an image? That's kind of what this reminds me of. 
you move your hand over it real slowly, the flowers flutter. No, I'm kidding. I'm making that up. But it does look like it would aid in hallucination. Light switch works. And this has, actually both of these little guest bedrooms have access to this, uh, another little cozy atrium area. So that other bedroom too, and this bedroom have access to this area here. So if you're looking for a spot to do your yoga and whatnot, maybe that's it. Got a nice cool patio. In fact, I don't think your neighbors could see if you were doing yoga out in the back, although across the way they might see you. But it's pretty, it's a nice house. Uh, comes with some sort of alarm system. I don't know how connected it is. So that's it. Hope you enjoyed it. We'll get this out to you right away so you can get a chance to see it. Uh, again, beautiful house, beautiful neighborhood, priced well at 910. Uh, there was one down the street this way that just closed escrow $50,000 above the asking price. Um, and I can, I can research that if you need me to. So it's a hot market. This, this one's going to go pretty quickly. I think if you have additional interest or you want to see something up close, let me know. I'll get you in there. Thanks. Scott Taylor, big block realty, 805-540-4825. We'll see you on the next one.